never fucking had it. Shut no way. Oh, never oh, fucking no had way. it. Like, Austin, you trying to tell something else right now? As humans, everybody lives in the same reality. You know, we could all be in the same room together, but we perceive it differently. All that experience, all that emotions, all the things that happen in that one life is boiled down to what we call instinct. And that's the only thing we can bring over to the next life. You won't be hanged, you'll be canceled. Coincidence, coincidence, coincidence. There cannot be three. All right, welcome back to the Collective Minds podcast. Tonight you got me, Astral, and your boy Jay, and we're gonna get into it. Um, so today I guess we're talking about time travelers a little bit. Um, back to John Teeter, John Teeter's predictions, how it's affecting us today, and a new video of an alleged time traveler, PSYOP, uh, allegedly from the year 2040. Totally a governmental PSYOP that's going on here, guys, but it's interesting, and we will break it down for you. So, uh, Jay, if you will, for the people that have never heard of John Teeter, those that need a little refreshing, or those just that want to hear it again... Who is John Teeter? Give us a summarized version of that if you can. So John Teeter is a supposed time traveler um, that was with the military. Came from the year 2036. And his mission, he first came back in time around the 1990, uh, 1999, uh, sorry, 1997, where his task was to locate a IBM computer that can decode three different uh, programming languages. Um, his mission was to bring it back because there was so much turmoil after end day, also known as, known as nuclear day, World War Three, and that their technology is so messed up or lost to a point where they can't repair what's there or the knowledge has been lost to repair it and they're using time travel to go back in time to get certain things to help them repair and rebuild that's dope bro you said a lot better than i could swing swing so yeah john teeter a prophetic time traveler alleged um that became known and he most see a lot of these guys just want attention and fame this guy did not he did not go for it he actually showed uh his time traveling how it worked the science behind it described everything still very skeptical with a lot of things however tonight we are not coming to talk about john teeter entirely or his time traveling entirely or any of the most of the awesome stuff that there is to talk about it or the y2k situation which he was very like confounded on that people weren't so amazed that y2k didn't happen the way it was originally supposed to allegedly because of him so they weren't really thankful which is fine but we're gonna talk about predictions and maybe some uh things that are happening today that coincide with his predictions i guess his his version of reality in the future is 2.5 percent difference is what he estimated it to be while he was here. However, dates and time seem to be completely off with what he predicted. However, he did predict some things that starting to creep you out when you when you listen to it. So, the most immediate of Teeter's predictions were of an upcoming civil war in the United States having to do with order and rights, which is a very big thing happening today if you guys look around. Now, here's where the dates come off. He described it as beginning in 2005 with civil unrest surrounding the presidential election of that year. The civil conflict that he characterized as having a Waco-type event every month that steadily gets worse would pretty much be at everyone's doorstep and erupt by 2008. Then there's the cancellation of the Olympics due to different ideas and fighting, infighting, pretty much between countries. Um, there was an epidemic of Creutzfeldt Jacob disease and a series of Russian nuclear strikes in 2015 that devastate all major U.S. cities along with the European Union and China. This 
all due to border issues and overpopulation. There's also one, too, that I've never seen before until today, which was that Korea becoming a world superpower. So let's break that down one by one. Civil war having to do with order and rights um, surrounding a presidential election. Very interesting, right? That could be 2024. Could already be started. Depends on what you describe as um, a civil war and order and rights. But he talks about Waco events, right? Very interesting because I've heard that many times with a lot of people these days talking about that which is pretty much people compounding up the government going in and gassing and lighting children on fire so uh then there's the cancellation of the olympics which i also find interesting the first thing that goes to my head is the trans movement push down your throat the whole men can swim with women thing i think that's something that would definitely cancel the olympics if other countries are like no f you U.S. We're not doing this, and Europe was like, "We stand with it." I could see that ending. Well, it could be war. It could you be war hold, too. You don't want to hold a, the the Olympics while there's a war going on. Wartime, yeah, for sure, for sure. However, they have done it before during wartime. But yeah, just the Olympics. I mean, it's coming to a point. There's so many religious, whatever. They just um, oh, what was it? The soccer, the soccer version of. The Super Bowl or whatever it was just happening in uh, the World Cup. Yeah, and they just pulled out the uh, pride flag. Right. Yeah, it takes something like that to end the Olympics. It literally would, in my opinion. I think they're like, yeah, no, this is BS. Like, because you got some countries that are throwing gays off of roofs. You got other countries that are like really Christian, which is sad that we are not that country that are going, yeah, no, a dude, we're not going to call him a girl and he's not going to swim with our ladies. You know what I mean? Especially for Russia. It's one thing for Russians to take steroids to try to win and then still lose. It's another thing to have a man fight a woman on a national stage and call her brave and beautiful. Because it's a dude. Um, Then there's the Kreutzfeld jacob disease. Uh, Who knows what that is? Which I guess that's a lot of along the lines of mag cow disease. It could be like zombies or Jay. If if this hits a... uh, it's a note in your brain. Sponge brain. Yeah. You know where that we've been hearing that of, right? Yeah, from the coof. From the, from not the, the coof, the magic potion the for the coof. The poke. Very interesting, right? And a series of Russian nuclear strikes in 2015. Dates are off that devastated all major U.S. cities along with the European Union and China. Very interesting considering Ukraine just tried to blame its own missile bombing Poland, saying it was a Russian missile trying to get the the uh, the NATO <laughs> involved in uh, physical conflict with Russia, starting World War III. Yeah. What do you think about that? Yeah, I think they're stupid. Like, trying to entice... Um war like that i'm pretty sure um there's people that witness it and they've started to spread like truth for sure it's just interesting how i mean correlation is one thing but these are correlating pretty well john teeter did a pretty good job at guessing if he was a lying piece of crap so here's one it all is due to border issues and overpopulation russia ukraine china Taiwan, right? Border issues. Uh, the U.S. and Mexico. And overpopulation. It doesn't make me think of too many babies being born. You know what it makes me think? It's that the political structure of the United States is overthrown by illegal immigrants being forced into the U.S., not just from South America, from all over the world, getting paid and bought off to vote in a certain way. Yeah. Leading certain individuals in power that would allow these things to happen. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. And then, of course, there's Korea becoming a world superpower, which I guess 60 years ago was one of literally the poorest countries in the world. Now it's in the top 10 of uh countries and is projected to be a superpower. Uh, many people have actually skepticize this which is that they are going to overtake half of china uh japan and other surrounding countries and end up being the world superpower by like 2060 
I just hope it's south, not north. <laughs> no, it is. It is supposed to be south. It is supposed to be south, not north. There's no way north can do it. I guarantee it. Um, so there is a new video of a time traveler from 2040, uh, which I do believe is to be a sly up. It's very interesting, though. He, his name is Carlos, and he says he was born and raised in Alicante, Spain. Uh, he says the world that we know will disappear in 2028. He claims that crypto replaces all currency, but not to put your money into crypto yet because that crypto is not on the market. It has not been developed. So in 2026, he says the U.S. reveals a new payment system called Coin Salary based on the percentage of your living wage paid out as crypto cut up into specific amounts for food, housing, transportation, etc. Um, so pretty much you get a paycheck, right? And right now you get your paycheck. You could be like, fuck it, I'm running away and take your paycheck. This is different, though. So you'll get a paycheck. He says you get paid a lot better then than you do now. More financial status, I guess. But you get paid in sectors. So your bank account is technically for food, for housing, for transportation, for whatever. And it's broken up into those. So this amount of your paycheck goes to that. 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 Very interesting thing, though, is that he's claiming that everyone has a built-in QR code that's tattooed on their wrist. And you're not forced to do it, of course, like they say. However, you will own nothing and be happy. But that everyone does it because it's the pretty much the only way to survive. So, um, The Mark of the Beast is what this guy's talking about. And trying to make it natural. And yeah, you can't buy goods. You can't do this or that or that or this without it. it. The QR code on your wrist or whatever, whatever they're going to do, a chip or something. It carries all your medical information, your criminal information. He said it, it holds your like your house status. So like if you're single, head of household, married divorced all that is on there like all of your information is on there so it's pretty much your passport everything is on there every single damn thing about you is on there including your bs crypto that is uh controlled by your uh your um neighborhood friendly uh global government so it sounds like real id it it sounds i have not heard of real id care to explain so real idea is the concept that this one identification system identifies you and everything tied to you, uh, aka medical, license, driver's license, if you're married, if you have kids, like um, this one ID ties in everything. Like right now we have, uh, for example, students, you have a school ID and then if you took the driver's test and got your license, you'd have a separate ID for that, which would be your driver's license ID. And if you are, or if you applied for state ID, separate from your uh, driver's license, then that would be another ID. Essentially real ID or whatever they're gonna call it in the future, ties every single one of those into one single identification very interesting that does sound like that a lot i don't know it's it's very weird that uh i don't know it, it i think it's a psyop i mean because it was made from like a big company big whatever and it's trying to be like oh you guys like the stories of time travelers where here's this one programming you to believe that it's okay for these things to happen that allegedly he came back because he was poor and could only live in a studio apartment in a bad neighborhood and that he ended up buying old hundred dollar bills um because they were pretty much just handing it out on dimes because it's not worth anything that he collected five million dollars in old bills and then came back in time however it's just it's just a big propaganda machine this is like the psyops we were talking about in the other one i just see it everywhere this is like telling you look it's okay this is what's happening wouldn't it be cool if you got paid more but you got paid in like ways to easily like be able to you know what i mean because people are bad with money 
some people are like, oh, I don't have enough money for food because I spend too much on fucking cocaine or I don't know. You know what I mean? Like hair products or clothing or something. And they're like, oh, so the government's going to be my daddy in control where I can use some money. So I'm going to be OK, but they're paying me more. So it's OK. So I get more for this. And all I got to do is get a tattoo and I can go everywhere and I can do whatever because they know all these things and it's like you're a dog bro well you're a dog real id is Mm -hmm. to be is to track you exactly doing like if you went to the hospital if you did your normal doctor visit because yeah that real id is supposed to supposedly will have the medical records you're right to you too we gotta say it this way though because Tracking is an action that leads to another action. Nobody tracks something for nothing. You get tracked for being controlled. Whether you're being tracked and you're a deer that's been shot or going to get shot, you're tracked to being controlled. If you're a dog that ran away, you're being tracked, microchip or whatever, or or even just on the street, you're being tracked to be able to be controlled, to be held, to be received, retrieved. To be monitored and then retrieved. The ultimate goal of tracking is to contain, no matter what it is. It's to control. It's to have the ability to scoop you up at any point in time and do whatever they want with you. Very interesting. Because they want us to believe now that all of our information is being tracked to sell us stuff. They don't care about that. I don't believe so at all. I think it's to be able to track us. See your mental state. See what makes you tick. See what better ways to manipulate you in order to control. So that's another one for the books, Jay. Tell the people you love them. <laughs> I love all of you guys. Oh, you should love John Teeter, too. <laughs> John Teeter's amazing, bro. Yeah, the whole Korea thing blew my mind, man. I'm not sure what to think about that. We are going to have to end up hitting a bigger episode on this, guys, but this is a short one for you. So for now, we are out. (laughs) 